You guys want to see something cool? All right, I'll show you. But I feel the urge to say, don't do what I do. I am not always that smart. I'm just smart enough to be dangerous, but mostly just to myself. So, see nobody's in the cab. There's nothing down on the floorboards. You guys gotta move. All right, watch this. Pretty cool, huh? So I'll tell you just a little bit about this before I show you. Um, so I square bail with a, a accumulator and a grapple set up. So I leave bundles all over the field. So like imagine a field like that, just with bales all over it, like bundles of eight bales all over the place. So you take the truck out to the field, you park it in the bundles, like next to the bundles you wanna pick up. And then after you pick up in that area, you gotta move the truck to the next spot. So in a big field like that, you're moving the truck all the time. So I'll either have to hire somebody to come sit in the truck and just move it all day, which you wouldn't think it's hard to do, but you have a hard time finding somebody that'll just sit in the truck and move it. And that's the nicest job, you know? You got air conditioning and a radio, and you're out of the sun, but I still can't find any help. So I have to constantly get off the tractor, move the truck, walk back to the tractor, and in a big field like that, especially when it's like 90 degrees out or more, that wears you right out. It is a ton of walking. So I made a module that I can put in my truck and I can actually drive the truck around. Now it doesn't steer, mind you. All I want it to do is drive straight down the field, get next to my bales, and then when I get to the end of the row, I'll just turn the truck manually and it'll just drive straight back down the other row. And that'll save me, oh man, it'll just save me so much. So I made this module, um, let me just put it in neutral and I'll show you. So you see, there's nothing going on down here. So you can still get in this truck and drive it normal. And that was a that was one big thing that I had to plan for because I still want to be able to use it. I don't want it to take stuff in and out when every time you want to get in here and manually drive it. I still need the truck for other things. So back here is where everything is. This is kind of what you're looking at. I made this all from scratch. There is a build video on my page if you want to go and look at it. Um, it's a little bit in depth. It kind of shows the thought process behind it, what I use to make it, and just kind of testing and tuning it in. So you got pneumatic actuators. Uh, there's a reason I use these over like electric linear ones because the electric linear ones you have to power out and you have to power them back in. The beauty with the air is you lose signal this this uh, solenoid will no longer be actuated so it will dump all your air pressure so everything goes back to resting position resting position is truck stopped because this right here is your brake controller notice it's always pulled back these cables run back behind the firewall or against the firewall and pull the pedals towards the firewall so that way this is always pulling the brake it's always gonna fail with the brake actuated this one takes power this runs to the gas pedal this always takes power to actuate it so lose signal lose electrical lose air truck stops big safety feature i thought about uh this is right here is a three-way air solenoid valve the receiver triggers that on and off with the remote and i can control how fast i exhaust and i can control how fast i actuate with these two restrictors and that's important to think about too because you don't want the truck to jerk when it takes off you don't want it to slam on the brakes when it stops you want everything to be smooth takeoff and smooth stop because if you got bales on there you don't want your load dumping off and everything's quick connect just just got a regular quick connect uh, electrical connector there two bolts right here and two pins and this whole assembly will come right out of the truck the air compressor is the same way i just got quick connectors on it uh, it's a regular air chuck on here so you can take the air compressor out and fill tires up if you got something that needs air that's kind of handy or you can blow yourself off at the end of the day I got it in neutral right now so I can just kind of show it actuated so I'll just trigger it you can hear it throttle up you can see it releases the brake and it nice and smoothly goes back to rest so now the brakes on gas pedals released 
Brakes off, gas pedal's actuated. Nice and smooth. So right here for your brake, if you wanna drive the truck normal and you don't want the brake actuated, say you just, you wanna go drive somewhere. Uh, I got this, it's just a piece of pipe with a slot in it. All you do is you just actuate it, this comes out. And let me just throw it on the ground real quick. So this will come out, you just drop that in there and that'll hold the brake release and so now you can drive the truck like normal. So you can use the truck out in the field for the day. You can throw this in there, run to town, go pick up your girlfriend. And when you get tired of her, you can let her back in the truck and send her on her way. That was a joke. <laughs> Let's not do that. I didn't say that. The electrical for this whole system actually runs to a relay up here that is triggered with the accessory panel so the air compressor can't run with the truck off so that way if you blew an airline or something you wouldn't come back to a dead battery that's all in the build video too i like to just put it and lock it in first that way it doesn't try and upshift when you're out in the field and i leave it in four wheel low just so it's easier on the transmission and i'm not spinning out in the hay field you would just leave the truck running i mean when you're out in the field working it's always running anyway because you're constantly back and forth to it and for steering like i said it doesn't steer all i want it to do is go straight i'll just take a strap and just set it down to the seat right here just to hold it so the bumps don't throw it off course pretty easy so say you're over here and you need the truck over here to pick up some more bundles if you're behind your tractor seat you just hit the button and here it comes. I don't want it to move real fast. I just want it to creep along. And then you just let off. The dogs aren't gonna be out in the field because Ruger, he's still learning. He's not too bright yet. So one other thing about it, say, you know, if you were out in the field and you wanted more throttle, or you wanted to go a little slower, I did make everything, if I can get to it, very adjustable you can see it's all everything's threaded so you can make quick easy adjustments now you're never gonna run it in reverse out in the field but yeah we're testing let's see what happens this is a good way to remotely jackknife your trailer That is pretty cool though to me it seems like this would have a lot of different applications say you wanted to back under something and you needed to be out of the truck or you wanted to just like straighten a post or something you wanted to be out of the truck watching it you know i just see a lot of different uses for something like this just trying to get an idea on the range of it here that'll go quite a ways you're not going to be too far away from it you're always going to be kind of next to it with the tractor you don't see the trailer lights because I haven't put the trailer in yet. But that works really good. You know, and the, the beauty of it is, is if you get out of range, it'll lose signal and the truck will just always stop. So this way, I don't send it through somebody's house. Because that wouldn't be very good. I might end up on the news that way. And we don't need that. So this is just my way of getting around not having help. And trying to make life a little easier for me. So I'm really happy with how this turned out and I think it's gonna be pretty darn useful. you can hear me with all this wind out here it's it's just always windy out here but being that i can be out of the truck now and kind of finesse stuff thinking that maybe i can finally fix the tailgate on this ranger it's gotten stuck and uh, i think i can just give it just a gentle tug and kind of wiggle it as it goes and it'll hopefully just pop open so say that I made this to be a useful piece of machinery and it's not a toy. 